So I'm gonna be going to leveling here. Let's go ahead and press it. And sure enough, the printer moves. So it's homing right now. And you guys probably can't see any of it. So it is setting up for level. Now, since we do have knobs underneath, I think we need to manually level it first. But let's see what kind of menu it presents to us. All right, so the BL Touch is working. All right, so it does give us a lot of information here. So the first thing on the side here is we have the Z axis offset. So you can go a little up or a little down and you can also home it. Then here we have AUX leveling and platform measure. So the AUX is our manual leveling and the platform measure is going to be using our BL touch and probing the bed 16 times and then setting the offsets. And these are the little numbers you see here. So first you wanna do AUX leveling and then we'll let it out of level. All right, so we're back down and you're probably not gonna see the screen here at all. I'll just tell you what I'm doing, hopefully it'll make sense so you're gonna need some kind of piece of paper I'm just gonna use this posty note and we're gonna click on AUX leveling you guys probably can't see that maybe but we got five points on the bed that we can click and number one is in the middle which we do not need right now or maybe at all so we'll start with number two which goes to this corner here and we're gonna use our paper here to go between the nozzle and the bed and we're definitely too low so we need to tighten it up so you do want to make sure that your bed is preheated and so this is pretty much just like a normal manual adjustment actually guys that was too high for that side I'm gonna run it down a little bit here kind of go down on the bed because it seems to be bottoming out into the build surface now one thing to note about these knobs is that you do have to unscrew the bottom knob in order to adjust if you tie them together it doesn't really do much so loosen the bottom nut and then use the upper nut to adjust it all right so let's go to the next one all right so we're gonna go around a few times so I'm basically pushing two three four five and then I'm just gonna keep pushing that as we go around so basically making a full circle here and I'm gonna do that about three times or so get it pretty close so the closer it is the better and as you change one corner you know another corner will also change so yeah I would recommend going at least three or four times to get it pretty close that way the out of bed leveling won't have to compensate so much and because this bed is so large a small adjustment on this side will affect the other end a lot all right so I think that's pretty close yeah it is of where we need to be and let's go ahead and click one to go to the center and this is not important to check this because the out of bed leveling will kind of compensate for it but it's actually pretty much what it needs to be so the thing that you want to do next is lock all your knobs so hold the top knob and spin the bottom to kind of lock them together but make sure you don't you know spin it too much because you're gonna you know knock the level off so hold the top knob and tighten the bottom knob to the top one so it locks it in. All right, and we're good to go. So on the screen here is actually prompting us to go to out of bed leveling next. So let's click that and it should probe the bed and do the 16 point measure. And as it's taking measurements, it's changing these numbers of the offset on the points. And so far we're looking really good, no more than about 0.2 off all right so it's finished let's go ahead and click on home all right and now we're gonna adjust our z-axis offset so we're again we're using the piece of paper here so it looks like I'm too low I need to go up so I'm gonna click up on the Z and it does go up 0.1 millimeters at a time all right so go back down here and that's pretty good so once it gets tight since I have a pretty thin sheet of paper here I'm gonna go one up from there so depending on your paper if you're using a thick one you want to be you know pretty tight but if you're using something pretty thin like I am you know once it gets tight then you just want to go one up from there so and that should be perfect and we should be done so I'm gonna go ahead and home it again just to make sure everything's good and we're good